Now, the primary tools that we use for this paper and pencil navigation are very simple. First off, we have the navigational charts themselves. These are the paper maps that show land features and other information that we're going to use. This first chart that I have here spans the entire Atlantic Ocean. Here's the east coast of the United States, here's the west coast of Africa and Europe, and here is the ocean across. This covers a distance of about 3,000 miles. Over here you can see Cape Cod, a little projection there on this chart, and as, as you see it's shown very small in this chart. This is called a small scale chart because the objects on the chart are small. This next chart shows the western Atlantic and the east coast of the United States it's a larger scale chart. That is, the objects on this chart are larger. So here now we look at Cape Cod. It's a much larger image. The next chart I have in line here is even larger scale. And it shows again Cape Cod in a very, very large image. And the next chart shows Cape Cod in very large image. This is a larger scale. This would be a harbor chart to enable us to navigate within this Cape Cod area. So in the case of the very first chart that I showed you in the ocean chart, that was a scale of about one to six million. In other words, one inch on the chart represented six million inches on the surface of the Earth. This last chart, the harbor navigation chart that I'm showing you, is a scale of 1 to 20,000. 